Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install Replay Mod for Minecraft in 2024. Replay Mod is a device that allows you to record Minecraft gameplay as well as make custom cinematics of gameplay footage. Now, this tutorial is super simple. So if you want to head down to the first link in the description, give it a click and you'll find yourself on the official Replay Mod website. As when downloading the two other programs required for this later on, both of these need to have the same corresponding versions. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to download this one right here. Now head down and click the second link in the description to download Fabric, which is a mod loader that essentially makes it possible for all Minecraft players to download, install and run Fabric type mods. Give it a click and you'll find yourself on the official Fabric website. Now don't click download for Windows, but instead click download Universal Jar. And finally, head to the third link in the description and you'll find yourself on the CurseForge website. And that's because we're going to be downloading Fabric API. Fabric API is actually required for most Fabric type mods. Head to File and download whichever version you'd like to play. I'm going to get the top one, which is the most up to date version, by clicking the three dots and hitting Download. While Fabric API is downloading, consider dropping a like on the video and maybe leave a nice comment too. Okay, so once everything's downloaded here, open up your files and find your downloads folder. Let's start off by right clicking the first Fabric Launcher. Click open with and select Java. Now, if you don't have Java as an option to open with, this may be because you have never downloaded Java on your computer. And Java 17 is essential for running any sort of Minecraft mods. I've already created a full, very easy tutorial on how to download and install the latest Java. You can find the link to that on screen and in the description, along with a jar fix in that video to ensure I can get this to work for you as quick as possible. Once you have a Java and you've opened Fabric with Java, you'll see the mod system installer, which looks like this. So here, once again, we need to make sure everything is compatible. So if the API and replay mod are all 1.20.1, select 1.20.1. But obviously, if you've got newer versions, then select any newer versions. Ensure create profile is ticked and hit install. I must stress that if for some reason the download fails, it's probably because you have either Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher currently open. So ensure you've got both of them closed. If they are closed and it's still not working, it may be because you haven't played this current version of Minecraft yet. So you need to open up your launcher and load up 1.20.1 for example. If everything is good however, you'll see it successfully installed and you can now delete the launcher from our desktop. Next, we want to install our mods, so open up the Minecraft launcher and you should now see Fabric in the bottom left as an option when launching Minecraft. If you see this, that's great. If you don't, click Installations, ensure Modded is ticked, click New Installations, hit the Versions drop down menu and find Fabric in this list. I'm going to show you a nice tip that most other tutorials won't tell you about. Click the three dots and click Edit. Once you're there, go down and click more options and look for the long line of text. You may now see 2G, which is the amount of allocated RAM you'll be getting. And with replay mod, this isn't really enough. Instead, it's a good idea to change this number to half of your total RAM size. And as you can see, it says installed RAM. Replay mod will now work a lot smoother and even render out footage quicker. On the installations page, look for the folder looking icon next to fabric and give it a click. This is your official Minecraft folder and you should see a folder called mods. If you don't however, that's fine. Just right click, create new folder and rename it to mods. So that's M-O-D-S, all lowercase. Open up that folder and drag our API along with replay mod into this folder. Close the folder down and hit play. Once Minecraft has launched, you should see fabric in the bottom left along with a new button here, which says replay viewer. I must warn you however, replay mod can be very difficult to pick up and learn without any guidance. But don't worry, I'm going to help you out by linking the best replay mod guide on all of the internet. So make sure to check it out if you need any assistance. This video also talks about the settings you'll need to actually render out the footage. Please leave a like if this video helps you out and of course have a lovely day. Goodbye.